hi everyone welcome back to the channel daniel here again today we are making the perfect smoky jollof rice paired with goat's meat you guys jollof rice paired with goat's meat is the goats like you can have jollof rice with fish jollof rice and chicken jollof rice and turkey but jollof rice paired with goat's meat jollof rice made with goat meat broth is the best ever quotes me anywhere today i'm going to show you how to make that and this jollof rice video is very very detailed i am giving you all the tea you need to make the perfect jollof rice to start off this is the rice we are using we are using the regular nigerian rice i think it is called arusa rice correct me if i'm wrong i just got from the regular market and that's what we are using i know some people like to use basmati rice and that's fine you can also use that for our stew base we're going to be using some tomato some tatashi shombo scotch bonnet peppers fresh ginger fresh garlic and some onions as you can see i am not using a lot of tomatoes and that's because your jollof rice do not need fresh tomatoes as much that's why we have more shombo and tatashi here then for my tomato paste of choice i am using gino this is the brand i typically use but you can also use any other brand i am just showing you just to be very detailed in this recipe i'm also using the gino curry powder you can use any other brand of curry powder for jollof rice made with goat's meat i usually use this brand of seasoning if i'm making chicken then i'm going to go with no but because i'm using goat's meat i'm going with this particular brand if you've not been using white pepper to cook jollof rice this is your sign to start using it right now because it elevates the taste of your jollof rice and that's the brand of white pepper i would typically use and this is the brand of dry thyme i'll typically use you can also use fresh thyme especially when cooking your meat now for our pepper mix i have gone ahead to clean them open them and we are going to be putting this in the oven this is because we want to get that perfect smoky taste from jollof rice and honestly this is the best method i'm just going to add a little bit of vegetable oil on top of that and then we're going to transfer that into the oven and let that just bake or grill whatever you want to call it for 30 good minutes you guys trust me on this it also reduces your cooking time now to cook our meat i already said i'm using good smith and that's because it just works i'm going to add some chopped onions i'm also going to add some scotch bonnet peppers for a bit of heat i'm adding some ginger and garlic paste i'm also adding bay leaf to this and i'm using three cubes of seasoning just because you want to make sure that your seasoning or your broth rather is a little bit more saltier or more seasoned than you would normally like because that is what is going to help your jollof fries that's the broth we're using to cook our jollof fries so you want to make sure that it is perfect you want to make sure that it is really really giving if you guys get what i mean i'm going to add some curry powder i'm going to add some salt and that is it you guys don't do too much jollof rice does not want too much jollof rice is just precision not plenty plenty ingredients i'm going to stir that and combine thoroughly you want to make sure that everything is properly incorporated you can also decide to marinate this but i am not marinating this one i'm just going to let that cook for a few minutes and let it sweat out its own juice this is after sweating out its own juice we did not add any water at all now this is when we are now going to add the water and the water i'm adding is just to make sure or at least to make sure that my meat is cooked and also to get enough to cook our jollof rice so you want to be very precise about that now i'm just going to stir that again then i'll cover this and allow to cook for a few more minutes until my meat is done goat meat takes a little bit more time to cook so you just want to have a little bit of patience after cooking i am just going to now set that aside for this particular part you can decide to grill you can decide to fry whatever it is you want to do it's fine we just need the stock from the goat's meat now our pepper and tomatoes are ready you guys look at this beauty this is exactly what we're looking for we're just going to go ahead to blend it until very very smooth as smooth as you can get it to be and this particular tomato pepper mix you guys I don't know how to say it again but i recommend you go this route do not boil your pepper and tomato mix put it in the oven and thank me later because i am very sure you're going to come back to thank me later while we are here you guys in case it's the first time you're hearing my voice or in case it's the first time you're seeing a video from me hi everyone my name is daniel i'm a digital content creator and youtuber based in port Harcourt, nigeria i share recipe videos i also share a bit of my lifestyle in vlogs i basically share premium content and because you're watching this video it means you like premium content i post content every week so click on the subscribe button click on the like button if you've loved this video so far you can also drop a comment letting me know what you think about the video or letting me know if you have any video request or any recipe request and i'll be more than willing to do that so let's get right back into our recipe 
now i'm just going to fry my goat's meat you guys i love love frying my goat's meat i don't know about you but when i'm cooking jollof i want to be as precise i want to be as detailed i want to be as old-fashioned as i can be maybe not so old-fashioned but you get what i mean i'm just going to fry this until brown like until party style brown not house homemade brown this is party style brown and that's because it just adds something to the jollof rice you guys it just adds something so i recommend you do the same also because this christmas season i know most of you are watching this video because you want to make it for christmas so why don't just you go like just go all out and thank me later or go all out and thank yourself while your family and friends and whatnot or maybe yourself too because this recipe does bang and it does guarantee that you're going to cook the best jello fries ever ever i promise you that i'll fry that i'm just i'm just going to like flip it over to make sure that i'm frying like all parts evenly then after frying i'm just going to remove it from the heat and then i'm going to set that aside we are going to be cooking our jello fries with the oil that we used to fry the goat's meat this is because we need the flavor we need all the flavors that we can get you don't have to go out and start getting like a different oil for your jello fries when you already fried it so get the oil that you used to fry the goat's meat and then thank me later i know i've said that like 20 20 times but you guys get what i mean right after eating up my oil, I'm going to add some chopped onions. When you're cooking jollof rice, you want to use the purple onions, not the white one. If you use the white one, it's going to get a little bit too sweet and you do not want that. Also, you want to also make sure you're cooking on medium to low heat, at least for this particular plate that we are in right now. Medium to low heat is recommended. I'll fry my onions for about 5 to 10 minutes. Yes, 10 minutes looks like a long time, but we need all the flavor, we need all the fragrance, we need all the sweetness that we can get then i'm going to add my tomato paste and this is what takes so much time because you want to make sure that you're frying your tomato paste until it looks something like this until it looks like pebbles until you're sure that that acidity or that thing that comes with tomato paste is out of it then we are going to add our blended pepper mix can you see how rich that blended pepper mix looks like like you can see it's not watery it is very very thick that is what you want you guys now i am just going to stir that combined thoroughly you want to make sure now you're cooking on low heat because this is just going to fry on low heat not medium heat not high heat low heat and you're going to be frying this for a good 10 15 minutes i am just going to season with some dry thyme some salt i'm also going to add some curry powder i'm also going to add my beef seasoning as you can see there is very little we are doing here but this very little is going to give us the results we are looking for now all i am just going to do is stir that and combine thoroughly before adding the beef broth that we got earlier also like i stated earlier when cooking jollof you want to make sure that your broth is a little bit saltier or more seasoned than you would prefer your sauce to be just because when you add the rice and a little bit of water and all these other things it all balances out so that is what i always do and that's what i recommend that you do i'll fry that for about 10 minutes you can see the oil is now floating on top that is what we want and then we are now going to add our rice i washed this rice four times i washed the rice until the water runs clear or the water ran clear this is because anything starchy or anything you don't want that your jollof rice is going to come out mushy that's not what we're looking for here we want to make sure that our party jollof rice our smoky jollof rice comes out like as perfect as it can be not mushy not mushy just one one you know how you go to parties and they're serving you jollof rice that is banging that's what we're trying to get here anyways i'm just going to stir that you want to make sure you stir and combine thoroughly also i'm using the wooden spoon here because we also do not want to like break the grains of our rice you think rice is hard but it's actually not hard and you just want to make sure your your rice they retain their actual size and shape because again perfection so we are just going to stir that as you can see we definitely need water in this recipe so we are going to add water if you have broth in the house then you can definitely use that however i did not have that so i'm going to add water when adding water to your jollof rice you guys don't add too much water you can see i added very little amount of water that is because water is not what cooks your jollof rice it is the steam that cooks your jollof rice which is also why you need to cook your jollof rice on low heat low heat the lowest heat possible my gas was literally on the lowest heat possible your jollof rice is supposed to steam not boil now i'm going to add my white pepper to this and as you can also see i'm not stirring that from like the bottom up anymore i'm just doing a little bit of razzle dazzle just shaking it here and there and that's what i'm 
going to do then i'm also now going to use my foil paper or my foil is it paper or nylon foil anyways and then just cover that now the foil is what traps in the heat if you use your normal lid or if you use the regular covers that come in your pot it's not going to trap in as much heat as when you do cover it with the foil i'm going to cook this for about 25 minutes yes 25 minutes is a long time but it's not a long time when we're cooking jollof rice and our rice is not even done all i'm just doing now is that i want to stir this and make sure that everything is properly incorporated to make sure that our sauce and our rice are properly married together like let them marry proper proper that is what we want now after stirring that i'm now going to cover again and allow to cook for another 15 minutes as you can see now it's giving smoky right this is what we're looking for you guys this is the result we're looking for also as you can also see the rice has now doubled in size or like gotten a little bit more voluminous that is what we also want now i'm just going to stare that you guys can see that this rice is not mushy at all right you can see that nothing is shaking now i know this is very debatable people don't like adding butter or margarine to their jello fries but if you want flavor also because your jello fries has most likely lost some moisture you need to add that i'm using margarine for this you can use butter now i'm going to stir that and combine thoroughly and our jello fries is ready but why are we stopping here when we can go extra this again is very debatable but i'm going to add some fresh tomatoes and onions to this some people don't like it but i personally like it and i recommend people do that if you don't like it no problem you can stop here also while i'm still doing all of this my jello fries is still cooking my jello fries is still burning your jello fries should burn if jello fries is not burning then it is not giving what's supposed to give when i cook jello fries i always want to cook one extra cup just because of the amount that is going to burn so assuming i'm cooking five cups of jello for jello fries or i want to cook five cups of rice for jello fries i'm going to add one extra cup just because of the one that is going to burn please if you like the video do not forget to give the video a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to the channel do not forget to leave a comment all these things help my channel grow also share the video because it is very important to you guys love you guys to the moon and back see you guys in my next video bye